Shadow of the Tomb Raider on the PS4. Why am I doing a second video of this? Well, look. I like $1 video game rentals. I wish more people would do them. So I might as well get a little bit more time out of this game that apparently I should be... I'm not, I'm not gonna like this game very much. I know that. I've played the first hour and a half hour of it and I know I don't like it. <laughs> but I'll sample a bit more of it. Why not? I really wish more people would do uh, these $1 rentals, you know, even for, like budget games, like Just Cause 3, Watch Dogs 2, let people rent them for a dollar, you know, they're old. Maybe they, maybe they missed them when they first came out, they might be worth sampling later, getting at a discount price. Well, I'm finally going to do some actual combat here. I've died several times already. That oh, crap. Yeah. We have to do that again anyway. Did I set the combat to hard or normal? Let me go back and see if I set it to normal. I'll check. Position compromise. Moving. Yeah, I'll check. Give me a second. You're you just can. one person. What can you do? Well, I can slaughter everyone in this checkpoint, pretty much. <laughs> I just saw both of the head a few minutes ago. <laughs> one dude could take out 90 people in that movie. It's like an old Schwarzenegger, it's like an 80s, you know, Rambo, Schwarzenegger action movie, that thing is. But I seem to recall, it wasn't all Stallone killing those people. It was, there were, I think there were about 40 people who got killed in the first hour of the film. <laughs> so it's true to form. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Well, this might be a safe place to stay anyway. Just a second. Oh yeah, I forgot to check the uh, combat. Uh, yep, normal difficulty, so we'll be fine. I mean, right? Like I guess I'm not gonna play this game for much longer anyway. I'm not gonna complain if the combat's too easy. Sorry. Shit, there's more of them. Where'd the bomb go? Oh, there it went. So I can just funnel them through here, huh? You're just one person. Hold on, reloading. Actually, can I re can I uh, save my game here? Well, maybe not like at this particular point, but we can do that. Yeah, we can set it up this way. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Try again. I could just take them out. I got plenty of bullets. Let's be honest. Better stop while you can. Someone threw a bastard. Okay, he ran away. Give up. Okay, so I took a shot there. I didn't feel good about that. But too much freaking shrapnel on me. Need support. This is where you die. Command me, bro. Gonna have Shit, to come out. out. Something's wrong. Oh, One of them is leaking. Dead. Okay, I apparently blew something up. Whoops. We saw the flame spike. You okay? Here you, Fisher. Should be dead by now. Oh wait, oh. crap! Got caught out in the yeah. open. Sorry, sorry. I lost my headphone too. That wasn't very nice. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. I'm not gonna heal. <laughs> I promise not to heal. Okay, let's get out of here. Changing position. Get out. You're just one person. I'm moving. Okay, what do I blow up? Not that. Something's yeah, blow wrong. that up. One of them is yeah, there you go. Shit, there's more Come of them. Here. Of course. The flame spike. You okay? No, you're dead. I'm under fire here. More coming. Now you underground, son. Let's see. Call of the Tomb Raider. <laughs> Raiding uncharted tombs. I hope that's all of them. Wow, that was shockingly easy when I actually had to do lethal combat. <laughs> I guess doing stealth takedowns was too much trouble. Apparently the first, like, three or so hours of the game is, like, five... There's, like, five or six actual deaths. Maybe seven. Not a lot of combat early in the game, I've been told. This might be the only uh, shootout I get to for the next hour or so. Don't need that. <clears throat> So again, you know, it's a full Far Cry thing. I don't mind the whole 
you know, small sandbox idea. It's just that I kind of wish the rest of the game were better paced. And I wish the story didn't suck either. The only reason I wish the story didn't suck is because like, I can't skip it. And all that, all that walk and talk. God, I had to walk and talk through that carnival in Cozumel. It's like, okay, it's a great tech demo, guys, but <laughs> move along. There should, there should have been a cutscene. A skippable cutscene. So I guess it's to prevent people from getting making too much progress in the game during the installation or something. I don't know. At least give me the option of skipping it if I do a full install before starting the game, right? Get stand when get triple. So many triple gate games <laughs> need to do that crap now. Handy axe. There we go. Had to mash a bit faster. Mash faster, am I right? There she is. Well, I guess this, this is a cutscene because you don't want me to survive. Yep. Stop! This is narratively don't important. Hurt her. Yeah, he literally said we need her alive. They set out five guns with guns to throw grenades at me, and they want me alive. What? Lara Croft. And they shot me like seven times. I died seven times at the end of the last video. This isn't the way I hoped with me. You know I've been interested in your work. Trinity always is. Skip. Oh, hey, here you go. You got some, you got some quick time events going on. Oh, this is that uh, tsunami everyone was talking about. Oops, forgot to move. Sorry. <laughs> I uh, forgot to move out the way. This is an interactive cutscene. Who knew? No button prompts. No puedo. Que Dios me perdone. No sé nadar. I mean, that was just, that was just random, and, that was just like Dragon's Lair crap. <laughs> Get impaled by spikes in the rushing river, come on. Did I take a hit there? Oh, see, look at that! What the hell? It's like a fetish for these guys. Just come on, people. No puedo. Que Dios me perdone. No sé nadar! It's like some Final Destination... Saw crap going on here. She can't just like break a leg or something on the in the rapids. She has to get impaled. Jeez. That's why people complain about video game stories. <laughs> See, look at that. More impalings. Yeah, I'm using the left stick. Here we go, here we go. Quick time event, right? How do I grab that? See, these are interactive cutscenes. I have to hold up on the whoop left. I have to hold up on the left stick to grab that flapping door. So bizarre. I'm not dead, am I? No. So bizarre. Like I said, that was just a that was just an extended quick time event. What was that all about? Trapped air. Yeah, always handy in this game. Am I going the right way? So I guess it's the game's meta commentary on people who raid tombs, right? Hurry up. We can have the camera stuck. Gosh darn it, I can't see. I'm probably going the wrong way anyway. Yeah, I'm probably going the wrong way. I'm probably going to die. Because i got to get to another air pocket. Give me a second. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Gosh darn it. Oh, duh, that's right. Use the right stick. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> use the right stick so I can use my detective vision to find a way out. No, I'm not dead. What do you know? You am not supposed to die here? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's not gonna waste any air. So at what point do I run out of air? Okay, go that way.
Oh, there we go. She's definitely a free diver in this game. Well, selectively. Yeah, maybe going this way was a bad move. But, you know, it's it's a pre-scripted, you know, pre-scripted peril, I believe it was called. Got to find high ground. That's what I mean, see? She swims, she has, she, she has the lung capacity of a free diver. So this part of the game, she's on rails too, huh? Yeah, there you go. What, no spikes there to impale me that time? Good looking game though, I'll say that. Very good looking game. From the uh, developers of uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution and Mankind Divided, yeah. Whoops! No, oh, jeez! Oh, it's comedy at this point. And I'm supposed to take the game seriously. I'm supposed to take the story seriously. See? Real good looking game. I'm not gonna say it's not good looking. Where? There you go. Yeah, this whole thing's on rails. It's just a bunch of spectacles. Good looking spectacle, though. Here we go. Square. There we go. Climb the craggy wall. Whoops. Well, eventually. Yeah, I see what you're trying to bake into this game. X. Yeah, <laughs> So the, again, the game has to tell you to wall scramble here, but it didn't tell me to wall scramble when I got stuck in that uh, pyramid, remember? I couldn't figure out how to climb that wall because the game didn't tell me what wall to scramble. Shit! No, no, no! Yes, yes, yes! No, no puedo, I don't speak no, English! No. Crap. <laughs> and of course I spell on this. This game is dumb. Dumb as a bag of Indiana Jones boulders. Dumb as a bag of rocks. See, I found a spike. <laughs> Am I climbing over a pit of spikes? Dumb as a bag of boulders. Scramble. There we go. You have to scramble with the X button. Square. Shit! No, no, no! See, see, see. No, no puedo no, sostener. No quiero caer. No, por favor, no me quiero caer. I don't speak English. Mama, Mama no, ¿dónde estás? No, no, no! Damn it! Fuck! Again. The game's going to pile on a bit here. because She has to feel guilt at some point. Not for all the people yeah. she slaughtered. But, <laughs> you know, for, for the people who didn't try to kill her first, I guess. Jonah! He's not dead. Jonah! He's not dead. Laura! Okay. I was so worried. I yeah, failed. friend. I was worried Les. about you, friend. What do you mean? Dominguez. He has the dagger. I lost it. After everything that my father went through, I gave Trinity exactly what they wanted. He'll use the box and the knife to remake the world. To remake it into what? I don't know. He, he thinks he can rid it of sin and weakness. A man like that, we... We have to stop him. It's all my fault. We'll figure it out, okay? I, I promise. No, 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 no! We have to get to the hidden city before Trinity! We have to find the silver box! Okay, but first, we're gonna help these people get to safety, and then we'll go after the box. No, no one is safe! Not if he gets the box first! I have to go! I'm the only one! You're the only one that can what? You don't know that you caused all this, Lara! Not everything is about you! These people need us here. We can do good now! Besides, what do we got to go on? A riddle? We're going to
gonna need more than pink fish and silver crowns to get to the hidden city. I'm gonna help these people. And then I'll find us a plane. How about you, Lar? About the dramatic interchanges. I could not be snarky, but how can you listen to this and say that this is good storytelling by this point? I've been playing this for an hour and a half. Is this a good movie? No, it's not. It's terrible. <laughs> but hey, there's conviction behind it, so I guess that means it's good, right? Come on. That's why I hate Hollywood gaming. <laughs> Let's pretend to make a really crappy movie, basically. So now we're down in Peru. I was wondering why there are copy bars up in Cozumel, but we're not in Cozumel anymore. And yeah, we can't skip this. Because we got to load another batch of assets, I suppose. So you can see the imperfections on his skin. I dig it. Went from 3% complete to 7% complete just by watching one cutscene. I think... <laughs> We're looking for a volcanic mountain. The crown of silver is probably a band of clouds. I just can't get those people back there out of my head. They lost everything. The riddle says... Chase the heart of the serpent to the Silver Crown Mountain, where the twins confer. I wonder what the twins are. <sighs> this storm looks like bad news. It's just a little rain. We'll concentrate on the Cloudy Mountain. Cloudy Mountain. If we find it, how do we know we have the right one? I can't skip this. Got feeling? It's our only clue. The mural says there'll be more disasters. The best way we can help them is to put a stop to it and Trinity. Didn't she cause the disasters? Okay. But how do we really know? Jonah, what I felt when I took the dagger. You mean the tremors of the tsunami? More than that. It felt like I woke something up. I know that it's not practical, I know that it's hard to believe, but you need to trust me. Yeah. We have to trust each other. Yeah, basically it's the Da Vinci Code too, right? <laughs> hey! I might have something over here. Really? Can I skip the cutscene? That's it! I don't like this storm. Should we come back in the morning? We're so close. I guess a little turbulence wouldn't stop Trinity either. Miguel, is there anywhere to land? Yeah, nope. I can put you down near Kuak Yaku. Let's go. Hey, Scrooge McDuck. Let's go get this treasure. <laughs> yeah. Scrooge McDuck Contact. wearing, wearing pants instead of a kilt, I guess. <laughs> Don't worry, he's gonna die. See, I knew he was gonna die. I called it. He's dead. He's never gonna crash again. Shit. That's just where we started the game, actually. What are you doing? I'm gonna level it! <laughs> Can't skip this part. Well, that was totally worth watching, wasn't it? <laughs> Why is there no skip cutscene button? What if I just want to raid tombs? <sighs> Then we crash again. 
like launch. Yeah, so basically we're like Launchpad McQuack. <laughs> We've crashed twice in the first two acts, first two chapters. I mean, right? Let me let me let me confirm something here. I feel like a doofus. Okay, not that. Isn't there supposed to be like some kind of a like chapter? Nah, can't do those missions. Peruvian junk. So we're not in Cosmo. So I'm pretty sure I thought we I thought we crashed in Cozumel. <laughs> I mean, we crashed in the first we crashed in the first reboot. <laughs> now here we are again, huh? Well, more jungles. We don't have to change the assets too much, though. So Peruvian jungles, I guess, look like Mexican jungles. Not gonna complain. Technically, this is a rainforest, right? Like, what's the distinction? It's like, I think National Geographic says that rainforest is like, you know, high canopies and mainly mainly free and clear ground, but jungles have a lot of undergrowth, something like that. I forget. But I spent some time in Panama when I was a youngster, and that was basically, that was rainforest, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, there was a lot of brush in the class. It might have just been an actual jungle. Press the right stick so I know where I'm going because we're going to do another one of these slow walking talks where I can't run. Yep, I can't run. Miguel! Again, this can't just be a cutscene. No, this is, this is worse than an unskippable cutscene. It's an unskippable cutscene where I actually have to do, where I actually have to interact. This is barely interactive cutscene. We have to walk slowly until the rest of the game decides to proceed as normal. Could be useful. Like if I actually reviewed video games the way I review movies, and actually paid attention to storytelling and and you know the decisions that are made to you know slow down the pace or force a camera angle or do a quick time event, I would murder this game if I wanted to. Like if I really wanted to be that guy, I could murder this game. Because Heavenly Sword was bad enough, but this is arguably worse than that. This is that, this is that, this is that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 crap. Just forcing people to sit through terrible stories and, and do the, the slow walk and talk things. At least Saints Row 4, you know, like, did this while you were driving. I'll keep this for later. So it wasn't skippable, but at least it was tied to something that was a bit more interactive than this. Like when you Hello? were... It's traversal in that game was good. Anyone? So you were traversing from point A to point B, and the traversal was fun. You were you were collecting stuff. You were doing other things, and the game told you a story through dialogue in the meantime. Where are that was they? okay. I have to that find was most, them. Was mostly okay. But I much prefer that to this. See, what's the ideal? I'm not sure. But like, what's the ideal? I guess Central Four is a better ideal. Like, if I have to sit through a story, at least make it good and make it mostly skippable. The Silver Crown Mountain. I'm getting closer. You know, people people have to be told the story, I guess. Someone's over there. You gotta drag to them to like them. a child. You gotta drag them like a child through the story. That's the problem. Because they don't want you to do anything. The game does look good, though. So I'll say that. You won't feel like their money was totally wasted, even though the game looks good. And I still haven't played the other Uncharted games. I'll get around to that. Square. Yeah, steal everything, Lara. That's what you're good at. Well, she left the eggs behind. It's like she needs to eat or anything. Howlers. Yeah, I definitely heard those growing up in Panama. Shoot them. We don't have an arrow, of course. No, we'll get our arrows back, we'll get our pickaxe back, we'll be perfectly fine. We'll get an assault rifle, we'll get a pistol. We lost everything in the crash, we'll get it all back. It's gonna be just fine. Here we go. Yeah, mud physics. Deformable mud. Trust me, in ten years, people are gonna say, what was this, why was this such a big deal? How many games were doing this? Even Red Dead Redemption 2, you know, that was a big a deal. Fire. Red Dead Redemption 2 did Someone that. Someone must be around. Hello? Jonah, Miguel, can you hear me? Where are you? I can't run. 
I didn't yes. know the storm would hit so hard. First camp fire. This is all my fault. I should have listened to Jonah, thought it through. I never should have taken that dagger. I hope no one else was hurt. No other village destroyed. I need to stop these cataclysms before it's too late. Yeah, you started this, right? Okay, uh, continue. Apparently most of these skills aren't very useful either, so... <laughs> what I want are stealth kills, basically. But that just makes it easier for you to pick enemies down one at a time, I suppose. Some skills must be found in the world and cannot be purchased. Uh, story reward. Unlock the skill through story progression. This one sounds good. Kill a second enemy during a second. Yeah, chain tag down like in Batman. So what if I could perform a stealth kill without alerting nearby enemies? What if I could breathe, hold my breath even longer than I can now while swimming underwater? Uh, what if my outfits required fewer resources to restore to glory? I don't know what that means. What if I could craft lure traps and enemy corpses? A trap to kill nearby enemies with a shrapnel explosion. Which is kind of like this, I guess. The uh, silent kills. What if I could increase my speed while swimming? I'm um, loot enemies killed by a stealth down, so automatic looting sounds like a very, very <laughs> limited skill set. Craft lure arrows. Craft to kill them with a poison cloud. Oh, okay. Cute. Poison grenades. Flare rounds and cuts resistance enemies for a longer period of time. So we actually, so they actually can do non-lethal takedowns. Because I've been slaughtering everyone I faced so far in this game. Is it flare round all attachment all pistols? Or is it night and armor enemies and bots running? Hmm. Wait a minute. I'm not gonna use that. You see, amount of man-made crafting resources again. That actually sounds interesting. But apparently, crafting isn't a big deal in this game either. In fact, I might not even need this combat skill I want, because how much combat is there going to be in this game? So we'll, we'll build to that later, I guess. Reduce noise from jumps, landings, and falls. Exchange to finding rare animals. I guess that sounds interesting. I might not even need that. Exchange from removing enemies and animals. Get a little bow. Assuming I need... Assuming I... Again, if crafting is hard, like if, if my ammo supply is constantly being depleted, I might need that. Depends on how much trouble it is to craft arrows. The uh, ability to harvest dart, poison, and venom from spiders. But I need a makeshift knife, so whatever. Quick massive damage, okay. Large capacity, large capacity ammunition, which for example, is now available to purchase. Those now, so now the merchants allow you to buy <laughs> racks of ammo. <laughs> Sheesh. Negotiate better prices, assuming I even need to buy anything. Reveal traps sounds interesting. Again, how many traps are there in this game? Because remember, I can still see those little, those little ropes that trigger uh, that trigger things. So I guess that's interesting. You can see the ropes that trigger traps inside of tombs, basically. Let's see. The artifact models. That sounds interesting, actually. I might grab those. But again, if I want to be a completionist, those will use in survival instincts. Challenge object. No one's death for a longer period after Laura starts to move. So you press the button and then a few steps later it goes away. Something like that. But that makes the the cooldown that makes the uh that makes the active period longer apparently. Already got that. Unlocks next weapon upgrade level. Serious simultaneously like Hmm. Cute. Hard <laughs> Katniss style, I suppose. Reach full draw weight more quickly. Reduces time between charge shots. Okay. Increase precision. Okay. Virtual precision in the enemy's head. <laughs> but I've been told hut shots are too effective in this game. Massively OP, I've been told. After healing wounds, you're, invis you're invincible. So you get eye frames when you're healing yourself, I guess. That's damage from enemies. Actually, after you heal yourself, you get eye invincibility frames. Okay, so you won't take... So basically, enemies that are shooting at you after a stealth takedown, they're less likely to hit you. I guess that's what that means. 
Let me see if I can fall from height. I see unarmed enemies in the counterattack after dodging. I might not even need that. Again, how much combat is there in this game? Never slip and grabbing from ledges. More reaction time for traps and grappling enemies. Okay. What do I want? Actually, I think I want more resources. Though I would kind of like uh, an ability to level up more quickly. That's always fun. Oh, I can't grab that one yet because I need adjacent skill. So I need one of these skills first. I already have this one. Oh, so I can't purchase this one yet. Okay. So I can use all three of my skill points to grab this skill. Doesn't seem terribly useful. I'll grab those later. So after all that, I'm not even sure. I might grab two skills, maybe. Oh, that's right. I have fast travel. Just a second. Wait. Can I not fast travel yet? Or does it have to be unlocked through the story? Like, yet another thing I can't do to the game un unlocks that gate. Gated mechanics. At least we have a relic here. Copy bar. Full Far Cry 3 level stuff. Uh, so I guess I can just try to find another fast travel point. I don't know. Like, search the area. I'm like, okay, let's search the area. Why not? Oh yeah, we can. That's right. We can fast travel, right? Okay, we probably can't fast travel yet. Wait a minute. I guess I can't fast travel yet. Cause I've been told that you can actually fast travel with that. To the prologue, which is hilarious. <laughs> it, that's your little narrative dissonance, kids. Part of the plane landed here. My gear is in that cargo. I'll need to cut it down. Okay. Yeah, like I said, there's your little narrative dissonance. We're crashed in the middle of the jungle, but we can fast travel back to Cozumel. <laughs> uh, video games are awesome. Might be a sharp piece of scrap in that section of the wreck. I need something to cut that down. Oh. So I get my uh, pickaxe back, my knife back. Uh, ooh, a poison arrow frog. Can I kill it? I don't have an axe. You. Yeah, I can actually swim in this water. I got stuff. So, apparently this is the worst of the trilogy, because I only played the first hour and a half of Tomb Raider 1. I played the first hour and a half of Rise of the Tomb Raider, and that's supposed to be the best of the three. So what are we even getting at anymore? Won't be able to open that without a tool. Okay, you already went to that. So we have crashed. We've crashed Won't twice be able in this to game. Open that without a tool. And a dead copy bar. Yep. So I can't. I need a tool for that. For those of you who are wondering, uh, copy bars are the largest rodents on Earth. According to National Geographic, they are native to North and Central South America. <laughs> so this was nominally an educational channel. Though I think uh, the copy bar... I don't know how many copy bars were in Peru, because I thought they were in, like, Brazil and, like, uh, Guiana, Suriname, places like that. Venice, Southern Venezuela. Okay, it's going to drive me nuts. Uh, hmm. I won't be able to open this. Oh, that's right, yeah, I need arrows. Yeah. So I gotta get back all my stuff. Don't worry, I'll be able to find it, no problem. Well, maybe with a bit of searching, obviously. <coughs> yeah, yeah. I just need a speedrunner to tell me where to go at this point. This, I'm sure someone's playing this game on awesome game on, on an awful games done quick, right? <laughs> you can actually climb this, right? Yeah, there we go. 
I should be able to craft arrows by now. There we go. We'll go to the challenge tomb later. Maybe in another video. So I guess the... The secret to these games is to accept the fact that, yeah, that's the entrance. So I guess the secret to these games is to accept the fact the first hour is going to be one long unskippable cutscene. A tutorial before the game actually starts. Oh, I can't... Wait, well, I can't climb this? Yeah, I, I should be able to go... I should be able to go on, hand over hand. Like I did in the tomb, the first level, but nope. Gated content. It's not even gated content either. It's just the game won't let me do the same thing I did in chapter in the prologue. Remember when I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I went like monkey style underneath the rope <laughs> to, to get across it. it. Won't let me do that there. It's weird. He says, just damn it. It's like stuff like that. So I guess I was supposed to do that. Yeah, I think I was supposed to do that. Yeah, I'm supposed to do that. Yeah, there you go. Get something sharp. Oh, of course there's an eel. QTE, right? Yeah, there you go. QTE. Stabby, stabby! I saw Anaconda. I know what's up. Go j Low on your butt. What was that all about? <laughs> Just random moray eels trying to squeeze you? What the heck? Yeah, I need ropes to get past that. And by the way, once I get the rope arrows, I'll be able to go hand over hand underneath the rope to get to the other side. But I can't do it here. Yeah, I can't do it here because I don't have the rope arrows. It's ridiculous. So I can't just climb up there? No, they just want me to climb it. Stab him! Eh, I'll let you live for now, son. Yeah. Good, but it's dull. I need to find something to sharpen it. A rock. Yeah, just, just sharpen it on one of these boulders over here, right? There's plenty of boulders. See, look at it. Just grab one of these rocks and just kind of... Right? This isn't hard. <laughs> Again, I don't want to be that guy, but I mean, it's just, you know, whatever. <laughs> don't be that game. I can use this. Still need more, though. Yeah. Kill it. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Not today, son. <laughs> See you later, poultry. You're gonna have to eat sometime. <laughs> you didn't use the bathroom, I guess. But I guess it doesn't really matter in a game like this. Yeah, has there ever been a survival game where you had to use the bathroom? I mean, like, The Sims. You could use the bathroom in The Sims. But you never had to use the bathroom in Don't Starve. Or Ark. Or any of these other survival survival games. Daisy. Do you need to use the bathroom in Daisy? Or do you just kind of wet yourself every time a zombie shows up. Yes, here we go, yeah. She'll do like the diver, she'll do like the diver's bathroom break. We're not here to talk about, you know, bodily functions, are we? Uh, here we go. It's not that kind of educational channel. Again, I don't want to be that guy who, like, nitpicks stuff in high school about when does Jack Bauer ever use the bathroom? Well, I remember the beginning of it was it season two and twenty four. You literally the first time you saw Jack Bauer, he was leaving a bathroom, thus ending the conversation. Exactly what I was looking for. Just that means he was. More. That means he was able to go twenty four. That means he was able to go twenty three and a half hours without using that bathroom. In fact, there might have been a joke at the end of uh, one of the chapters. There might have been a joke at the end of one of the seasons where it's like, yeah, I got to use the bathroom. <laughs> That actually would be the kind of joke they would play at the end of the show, wouldn't it? 24 was hot stuff in, t in 2000, 2001, as I recall. Was it 2002, I think? 24 was hot stuff for a while, man. I don't think it wasn't. 
Got like everything I need. Should head back to camp. Like before um, Walking Dead, 24 was the ish for a, for a while. Like it was like before peak TV, 24 <laughs> was a bit was appointment television for a lot of people. Because I think by season three it got kind of ridiculous, but we'll go back and check. I'll see what's up. John Boyega was in a, what was it season four? Was it? <clears throat> or was it that mini series? I think he showed up in the yeah. mini series. I forget. <clears throat> You know, he played the role of that, you know, that dude. He did, he did, he does that John Boyega face where he just stands there with his mouth wide open. <laughs> he does that. He, I don't think he does a gape very well. <laughs> What's the word? To a gape. I have the salvaging. T Never mind. I have to go back to the base camp and do this. So you press the left stick to run. So, uh, I probably have another 20 minutes to save my game before I have to save it. Here we go. Now I have to craft the knife. Let's craft the knife like Eddie Murphy in the Golden Child. Let's see. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, wait. Hold on. We have the, uh, adventurer outfit. We have the Angel of Darkness. Darkness! Oh, that's actual. That's actual Lara Croft. Wow, they went there. I got a uh, Tomb Raider two. <laughs> Accurate. Bomber jacket. Yeah, we're gonna go old school. <laughs> yeah, more nostalgic than functional. <laughs> Didn't know they actually. I, I thought that was supposed to be unlocked later. Tactical adventure. Get out of here with that nonsense. We're going old school. <laughs> yep. So we'll finish up the video with some nonsense. Yeah, there's your Ludo narrative dissonance. <laughs> accurate Tomb Raider is accurate. Okay, we're done with that. So now we can cut stuff up, right? Skill points. Yeah, we'll do that later. This is all my fault. I killed all those people. <laughs> yeah, this, this kind of that breaks. Should the be sharp enough. Yeah, no lip sync. Yeah, this this will break the tension nicely. Well, let me get a shot. We have like a photo mode. I want to get a shot of this. I mean, we have our regular photo mode. Obviously, let me get in the sunlight here. Yeah, here we go. Uh, did I hit the wrong button? Yeah, let's try that again. Got it. No photo mode, huh? Nope, no photo mode. There she is, fellas. <clears throat> I'm sure that brings back all kinds of inappropriate memories. Uh, so this video should uh, bring in all the Bono fans, I guess. Wait a minute. <sighs> Something's still holding the supplies up. Yeah, it's like I can climb it or anything. Yeah, can't, I mean, can't you just climb over there and grab the supplies? Seriously? Ah, oh, there's a second rope tethering them. Yeah, I saw that already. Why do you think I ran over here? Just a second, I, I, I can cl <clears throat> clamber, clamber. There you go. Wall scramble. Of course, the yeah, camera controls are a lot better in this game than the original Tomb Raider 2. <sighs> yes! Now I can get my gear back. This is still tripping me out. <laughs> this is still seriously tripping me out. <laughs> can't believe they actually did that, like, this early in the game. <clears throat> was this like... Yeah, was this like because I had a Rise of the Tomb Raider game save? Actually, no. <gasps> That's on the Xbox uh, One. So I guess they decided to make it an option right away. Uh, no. Crap. <coughs> Whoops, fell off. Is there a rope so I can get back up? Well, we'll make that work. Give me a second. I gotta clamber over here. Get going, hot pants. Here we go. 
Stop commenting on it. Look, I saw the interview in Next Generation magazine. One of the core <laughs> digital developers is like, hey, if you're going to stare at someone's rear end, all, you're going to stare at someone's rear end for like 10 hours. It might as well be a woman's <laughs> rear end. I'm paraphrasing, of course, because he, he used the he used other language. I actually think he called it a bum. We're not going to talk about that. <clears throat> Again, I, 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 don't, I don't develop them. I just observe and I just observe and report. Pardon me for being cheeky. Okay, now where? Get over here. Whoops! Jumped over it. <laughs> so I'm supposed to I'm supposed to like swing across those branches, right? <clears throat> Just a second. Wait a minute. If I climb up that, I have to shoot it down eventually. Get moving, Laura. Square, there we go. I can climb that. Square. Wait, wait, what? I did not want to do that. Okay, where am I going? This is going to drive me nuts. Over here. I'll do that crap later. Why didn't I pack all my equipment together? Miguel, where are you? Skip. I can't watch. I can't watch these cuts. I can't watch these cutscenes with a uh, 2001 era Lara Croft. I just can't. <laughs> Assuming I can even watch them with right with you know 21st century Lara Croft with 2018 Lara Croft. <laughs> I can't watch them any time. I mean. The story's actually stupider than... If you thought Horizon was bad. <clears throat> Jump. There we go. Uh, okay. Is this stealth? It might just be stealth. Yeah, I can climb that. Yep. Square. 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 Got it. So I have to aim before I press the square button. Because I have to grab the right branch. Because I forgot to press... Okay, so I forgot to grab this. I forgot to grab the flower last time. Give me a second. Square. Whoops! Wrong button. Do they really want me to grab all those flowers? Well, let's see if I can grab a few more while I'm here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, get the rope. Get the rope. Who tied this? That's oh, a vine, not a rope. Whoop, about to fall. You don't fall. <laughs> there we go. It's, it's a vine, not a rope. Square. That's what that's about. Okay, uh, one more flower. Actually, make that jump. Yes, I can. There is a bit of exploration here, old school. Tomb Raider adventuring. A sex stand. Sure, it's family friendly. I know an X stand, not a sex stand. Well, look up that word in the dictionary, kids, because I don't know what it means. Yeah, I could bring out my phone, but I'm a little busy right now. I mean, I'll look at I'll look at my open my uh, cell phone during a cutscene or something, an unskippable cutscene. We'll learn together what sex stand means. If we could say it without chuckling. In a game like this. Uh, which way am I going? That way. Go to the right. Yeah, so, so go to the right. Square. Yeah, I can't reach that. Square. Okay, never mind. This gets me over here anyway. Kill all of you. 
Where am I going? Ooh, Cappy Bars. It's good fur, I'm telling you. Let's see, Laura's the best. She steals other people's stuff, raids their graves, kills random animals for fur. Fur trader, tomb raider, she's everything. Everything you want in a female, empowered female video game heroine, I guess. In that sense, I guess she's kind of like Rico Rodriguez. <coughs> the other uh, famous Square Enix uh, character. Actually, this isn't Square Enix. It's uh, Crystal Dynamics, right? <coughs> yeah, we'll go in there later. Let me just peek inside. There's nothing there anyway. I thought there was a trap there. I don't have a rope. I don't have a rope. Never mind. Forget I said anything. We're leaving. Video games. So let me stop a dilly dallying and just kill something. The yeah, copy bars apparently are faster as fast as horses when they run. Though if I'm not mistaken, yeah, they are not endangered. I believe they're actually graded as yeah, National Geographic think has them rated as not least concern. Yeah, somewhere like one like one tier below that in terms of their uh <coughs> It serves with their uh, threat level. So they're basically like large rats. <laughs> I want to say they're domesticated too in some parts. I'll double check. They can just go to Wikipedia and find out. Remember, it's Capybara. C-A-P-Y-B-A-R-A. -A -A, Capybara. As a kid, I, I always heard of them. I just, weren't, I just didn't know what they were for. Like, I knew, I knew there was something special about them. And yeah, they're the, they're the largest rodents on the planet. They're big beavers. Super-sized beavers. Yep, we have a bow. So now I can make a bow. Not with the flowers, obviously. Reinforced limbs. I'm not going to do any of this. Screw this. I'm just going to take the bow and leave. Uh, no more skills. So we'll do a little bit more exploring before we end the video. When do we fast travel? Maybe later. We don't need to fast travel yet. We're still exploring. So there's a time. So we started out with some combat. But apparently there's practically no combat for, you know, the next several hours in this game. Apparently the worst parts of the game are like hub areas. You just wander around talking to NPCs. So that's disappointing. There. Okay, how close are we? Over there. Oh! So I do have ropes, okay. Never mind, forget I said anything. Okay, set it up. You had to craft some more arrows just in case. R2, set the tether. So we couldn't do this earlier when the stuff was dangling from the tree, but we can do it now. Don't ask me why. In case you're wondering, Rock Paper Shotgun had a video Miguel? series. They had a video series called Fail Forward that talks about the Tomb Raider reboot and what it and how it failed to. I don't like this. It was trying to be like constructive criticism about a particular dis creative decision that the game made, and it, the idea was a lot of the a lot of Tomb Raider cinematic storytelling was about taking control away from the character, with cut scenes and forced camera angles, you know, things like this. Miguel? You know. Where are you? I can't skip this. Oh, no. So we gotta watch money, the Money for Nothing video. <laughs> Miguel? Miguel? Well, get some tree. Yep, let's grab some tree. Yep, Lara Croft just steals everything. <laughs> she destroys everything she touches. Sissimite? Sissimity? <laughs> yep, that's a dead happy bar. This game is savage when it comes to some of the violence in this game. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> <sighs> I 
Yeah, I like how that uh, bow texture goes right through her chest. <laughs> a little bit of clipping there. Might want to dial back on her uh, bust size, guys. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I think her, her modern-day model was a lot less well-endowed. Dude, seriously? <laughs> Gasp. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely putting that. That's the thumbnail. That is your thumbnail. I got. I gotta grab that thumbnail. Yeah, see, look at that. She's impaled by her own bow. Skip. Okay, I want to keep this. Actually, I want to keep this part. I can't. I'll skip it later. Uh oh. Moray eels, jaguars. At least the copy bars aren't trying to kill her. The piranha's gonna be in here later. Holy I shit. I don't even think there are any I don't even think there are any piranhas in this part of Peru anyway. I mean yeah, in other parts of the in other parts of the river, sure. Prana's always like freaks me the heck out. It's like No 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 oh god. Like what vicious like what vicious creator to be said we need a school of like really aggressive fish with razor sharp teeth. Like not even sharks. I mean sharks I understand. Piranhas just seem more screwed up than sharks. It's like what horror movie director came up with that came up with the idea of a piranha? The Amazon is hard like the streets, though. <laughs> yeah, let's play Monster Hunter. Oh, there's no melee attacks. Gosh darn it. Yep, no melee attacks. Get at me, dog. Yes, I that's mean cat. It. Whoa, they did it! I mean cat. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. There's Revade. It's working. No, it's not. He's invulnerable. <sighs> Shoot the monkeys. Wait, did he? Did he sneak up on me? He snuck up on me. <clears throat> you suck. Yeah. <laughs> The monkey's watching. Probably waiting patiently. Look out! <laughs> Bastard. Yeah, yeah. Missed. I think I missed. QTE! Waggle that left stick. Stab him! Yeah, yeah, right in the brain. Good lord. Jeez. Think of that stupid mask. <laughs> like a bobblehead. <laughs> liquor. Go on, liquor. I saw Alien 3. I know what's up. So stupid. <laughs> you know, you probably wasn't wearing this stupid mask. Oh. What the heck? Just happened. <laughs> this is like that took a pill in a Biza video. <laughs> what the heck? Took a pill in the beast to show a V.